Hi, hello everyone, this is Juno. This is my first video in English and I'm doing it in English because I received so many comments that you didn't understand what I was saying in the other videos and you really wanted to know. So this time I'm talking about a topic that is very interesting for everyone in the world, so I decided to do it in English this time. Well, the topic today is how to buy tickets for a concert in Japan. Well, it's really, it's pretty difficult. Mm, when I arrived to Japan, I wanted to go to some K-pop concerts because I love K-pop. And I didn't know how to get tickets. I heard before coming that it was very difficult, but I had no idea really. Well, in Mexico, I live in a small town, so there are not so many concerts. And even if there is a concert in Mexico City, for example, last year I went to Katy Perry concert. It was re really easy to get a ticket, so I thought, why is it, uh, why is it going to be uh, difficult in Japan to get tickets? Well, it's difficult. First, I arrived here. Uh, the first concert I went to is the one from Kara. Uh, Kara is a K-pop girls group. Uh, it this wasn't a concert. It was a um, fan meeting, but it was like a concert because it was in a uh, very big place called Yokohama Arena, and they also sang. So it was a, like a concert. Well, this this one I didn't buy the tickets um, properly. I mean, in a place or on online. This that way that time. I was walking around Shibuya and I found a place called Yokohama Tickets and they, they were selling tickets for this concert. This was the next day, it was a Saturday and the concert was on Sunday and they were really cheap. They were about uh, 3 uh, in Japanese and yens because well they call and yens, they call and the yens. Uh, it was about 3,500 yen, it was about uh, $35 in order to to go to that car concert, so I thought it was really mm, cheap, because normally the concert for this ticket was uh, $600, no, I'm sorry, $60. <laughs> I'm, confusing Japanese and Japanese hands and, and dollars so it was about 60 or 65 dollars I can remember so 35 dollars was really cheap it was about half so I decided to, to go so I bought the ticket and I went to the concert when I arrived there I saw that there were reselling a ticket there was people in the entrance or near the station selling the tickets I didn't ask how much were they, but I suppose they are more expensive, way more expensive. The next uh, concert I went to was the Shiny one. Shiny is also a K-pop group. At uh, that time, I bought a ticket on a place, well, on a 7-Eleven. Uh, they have a machine called uh, Pia, well, the name of the company is Pia Tickets. So I went there and I got the tickets. But what happened that time? Well, uh, I didn't get uh, very good seats. I didn't receive um, a seat until I arrived there. And I was on the last part on the third floor. So it wasn't a good place. But who was the people that was in front of of uh, the group of the artists that time well here in Japan if you really want to be near the artists you need to be part of the fan club um, yes uh, there are well it's not a rule but usually there are fan clubs for all the groups even international or Japanese groups K-pop J-pop or also American ones, so if you are part of the fan club, it's going to be easier. But, even if you are part of the fan club, it doesn't mean that you will get a ticket. What you have to do is, well, they say that there is going to be a concert, for example, in a month, so you can apply for a ticket. Let's suppose there is 
one million people in the fan club da database and but only half of them can get in the concert because um, the space or the arena is, is not that big well just as um, is <laughs> I'm not talking about a real a real situation okay it's just an imaginary situation so if you are part of the fan club you can apply for a ticket you apply one million people apply, but only five uh, thousand people that can get in, right? So there is a lottery. If you win the lottery, you can buy the ticket. You have the right to buy the ticket. You cannot say, okay, I will buy it. No, you have to apply. You have to be, uh, wait for about one or two weeks or three weeks or maybe a month and then they uh, post on the internet a list and there you can see if you are able to buy the ticket for example the arashi one is one of the worst ones because if you are not part of the fan club it's going to be impossible for you to get a ticket really impossible because as i said before there is more people in the database than the people that get can get in in the arena i have a japanese friend that really loves Arashi and there's going to be a concert I think um, next month and it's in September here in Japan uh, she applied about one month and a half and she doesn't know if she's going to the concert because she has to wait so if you are not part of the fan club you cannot get in well this is just in those cases where the group or the artist is really popular and that is the only way you can get in so if you're not living in Japan what you have to do is to is to ask a Japanese friend to get in the club for you you had to pay unfortunately had to pay about $60 or $70 per year in order to be part of the fan club but well you have more chances to go to the concert and also you get some stuff like original fan club stuff the other way if you let's suppose you wanted to go to Arashi concerts with one is one of the most difficult ones but you couldn't the second option is to go to a resale store there are some resale stores here in Japan uh, it is supposed to be forbidden to resale tickets but well people do it so there are some stores, there is one in, in Harajuku, in the Takeshi Tadori, which is the most important street in Harajuku. The, the one of there, over there is called Gorakudo, and there is another one in Shibuya, which is called Yokohama Tickets. That's the place where I bought my Kara concert ticket. So you go there and you can find them. If you go, for example, one week before the concert, the... Mm, price of the ticket is going to be twice for example if there is uh, one uh, $100 ticket maybe it's going to be 200 or 300 or 400 dollars so uh, well if you want to get it if you really want to go and you don't care about paying twice or four times the original price well you can buy it there but if you if you don't care like okay if I go it's okay if I don't go it's okay it doesn't matter you can go the day before the concert or even the same day and it's going to be half like the one of Cara that it was originally sixty dollars and I could get it for only thirty five dollars so if you go the day before or the same day you're going to get it this price the uh, well the third the third concert I went to was the super junior concert they started selling um, the tickets about three weeks before the concert. They say they were going to start selling them, let's suppose, the 25th. So that day, I went to 7-Eleven uh, in, in order to get a ticket from the lobby, I'm sorry, from the Pia, Pia ticket uh, machine over there. It was about 10 a.m. in the morning and I couldn't buy the tickets because they were sold out at 10 a.m. So I was, what? In Mexico, if you want to buy a ticket the same day at 10 a.m. in the morning, of course you could, you can buy it. But here in Japan, I couldn't because they were sold out. I just couldn't, couldn't believe it. So I was like, okay, I'm not going. 
but the day before I went to Harajuku and I saw that resale uh, a store and I saw a ticket for the Super Junior concert and it was only $30. The original ticket was $110 and I got it for only $30. So it was like, oh my God, I have to buy it. So of course I bought it and I went to the concert. I was really lucky. Maybe someone couldn't go to the concert two days or three days before and they went to that store, they sold the tickets that kind of a store they sell any kind of tickets for people that couldn't go of course they buy the tickets really cheap and they sell them very expensive if you go the same day you can buy it very cheap like me and the, well the fourth one was uh, Tiara that time uh, the Tiara I couldn't find tickets for Tiara on the resale stores so what I did that time was to look for the ticket online I found a page called ticket.co.jp that page is in Japanese mm, maybe you can use Google Translation in order to uh, to buy them and I saw there were some tickets I wanted to buy TR tickets from the 7-Eleven one more time but I called them so that time I saw the, the original price of the ticket was um, $70 and I could get the tickets for only $55 so I bought that I bought uh, the ticket that time like that I this, the people this, this is like people to people that page is like people to people so the person that couldn't go to the concert sent me the ticket they sent the, t the ticket to my apartment and I receive it and it was really easy there is um, the ticket that co-company that they only free the money when you say that you already got the ticket so it's really safe it's a really safe way to buy them but if it's if it is a really uh, popular group like Karashi well you are going to pra you are going to pay twice or maybe ten times uh, the price for example the tiara the tiara tickets that time I was on the second floor but there was one seat in the first row just in, in the middle in front of the of the stage and that was eight hundred dollars really expensive mine was fifty five dollars but that one was eight hundred dollars and there is people that pay for that but what happens in Japan there is people that enters the fan club they get good tickets and they resell them they leave they really leave doing that because there there is people that they don't care about paying so much money if they are going to be in front of their idols so they don't care paying five times the original price so as long as there's people doing that there's going to be people that is going to resell the tickets at that price so if you as i said before if you don't care paying eight times that is another way ticket.co.jp and there is also another page that is yahoo actions that is totally in japanese you have to live in japanese like me in order to be part because they ask you about an address and things like that and this is a uh, very expensive it's even more more expensive than going to a resale ticket store or ticket that go that is jp uh, there that is an auction so there is people that i don't care paying twice or five times or ten times I had to buy it, I have to get a ticket, so, well, this is really difficult, it's the, I think, I think it's the most difficult way, uh, buying the ticket from Yahoo Actions. Uh, in the Tiara concert, the people that was next to me, he bought the tickets from uh, Yahoo Actions, he paid $150 for the ticket, I was next to the person and I paid only $55. It was a big difference, but he decided to do it that way. The last way to get a ticket is outside 
the arena outside the, the concert hall. Over there, uh, there is people all the way to the super reselling, but of course, I think it's the most expensive way because uh, you can buy it about 10 times the original price. So, I don't recommend this. Uh, if you really want to go and you don't care, we'll do it. Uh, you must arrive early in order to be sure to get the tickets, of course. If the concert are really started, you will get them um, cheaper. So, the cheaper way is being part of the fan club and get the tickets uh, if you win the lottery. Then, um, searching uh, ticket.co.jp the third one is going to our resale store. Um, there is Yokohama ticket and Gorakudo. And then is the Yahoo auctions. And the most expensive one is outside the hall. Uh, the last concert I went to was um, an event called K Fest. There were four K pop groups History, Glam my name and 2am in order to get good seats what i did was to enter the my name fan club i didn't even like my name but i wanted to see history and glam so my name is a is a k-pop group that is starting so uh, the fee was free in order to be part of the fan club so i entered the fan club and i received a fan club ticket so I was in the second, in the on the first floor, in the second part, in the first row. So it was really near. I could see them really near, and there was also a handshake event, so I could have history and my name really near for me. So this is a very good way, but it's not always so easy. There is a K-pop group called Bix that it's performing the next month. I am part of the fan club of the Bix fan club in Japan because I really like them. And they announced um, the, the concert about three days before starting selling the tickets. They say they were going to start selling the tickets at um, 12 p.m. on Monday. So I was at 12 p.m. on morning in front of the computer. They started selling and I couldn't enter the page. It was really busy. The server was really busy. I tried it for two hours and I couldn't. It was really impossible. Even they said in Twitter, that well, the company said in Twitter that their servers were really busy and they were apologizing for that. When I finally could enter the page, they were sold out. Okay, oh my God. I was part of the fan club. I was there on time. I was um, pressing f5 i mean refresh 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 and i couldn't get a ticket oh my god i was almost about to cry so what they do is well not everyone uh, is going to pay for them because first you have to to apply and then you pay for them at a bank so there's people that of course like always um is not going to it going to be able to pay for the ticket so i had to wait until they uh, free the tickets that uh, weren't paid for them oh my god i wish i really i hope i can get those tickets because well bix is not going to mexico i think they never are going to mexico of course i want to be very happy if they go there but I think they can go in the next three years. So I really hope I can get some tickets. There was a lot of people that wanted to go to the concert. Well, wanted to buy tickets from the concert. But they couldn't like me. So we are all waiting. We are all expect expecting to go. So it's going to be tough. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to do everything I can in order to get them. I will be refreshing the page once again. 
I will be calling the call center. Even the call center was very busy. It was really impossible to connect. Oh my God, it's really difficult here in Japan. But Bix is one of the of my favorite uh, K-pop groups. So I will do whatever it is possible in case I don't get a ticket uh, from that page, from the Bix page. What I'm going to do is to look for them on Ticket.co or going to the resale ticket stores very frequently in NC. Uh, this time I don't care paying twice because I really want to see them. But oh my god, I hope I can do it, I hope I can pay. Another thing in Japan is that it doesn't matter. Uh, the price, the price, I'm sorry, is always the same. It doesn't matter if you are on the first row or if you are on the third floor. It's going to be always the same. So you have to be very lucky in the lottery because everything is uh, it's a lottery. You cannot say, okay, I want to be on the first on the first floor or on the second floor or on the third floor. The company chooses the seats for you. So it, it doesn't matter if you have a lot of money. Um, maybe you are going to be on the third floor. So that's a very bad thing. You have to be very lucky here in Japan. Okay. So this is everything I think. If you have any questions, you can uh, write or here, uh, and I can answer you. Okay, bye bye.